Hello, I'm Justice Good, and today I'm going to show you how to apply a cracked texture to this guy's face. First thing you want to note is that the background of this photo is very dark, has a lot of shadows, and it's pretty much black. This will work with any photo, but this is the type of photo that works best. If not, don't worry, we can still use the eraser tool on other photos. So, the first thing you want to do is open up your texture. I got this texture by searching wood into the website TextureKing.com. They have lots of great textures. And before we drag this texture onto our image, we want to do a few things. First, go to Image Adjustments, Gradient Map. With the default black and white selected, if you can't see this, then click that little arrow, go to Reset Gradients, and it should always be the third one depending on what your foreground and background colors it could also be the first one but the third one will always be black and white click on one of the dots and drag the midpoint to about 20 percent on the location bar close to the closer to the black now you see what that does is makes the shadows of the cracks pop out that way we get a smoother, cleaner application of the texture and not all of this muddy other stuff that we can just fade out. So after you apply the gradient map, drag your image out, select a layer, click and drag it onto your portrait of someone's face. Now before we move on, we want to create something that's called a displacement map. Photoshop only uses PSDs under the distort displace filter. So hide your layer and file save as a PSD. I'm going to name mine displacement map. This is the file that you're going to select when you decide to displace your texture. And what displace does is as you can see it's on the desktop. Displace um, warps the image around the contours and the highlights of the original PSD that you select. So set the blending mode of your texture on multiply and move it around and scale it to a location that you like best. Try not to cover up the eyes or the main features with a really dark spot like you can see I have that really big crack right under his eye instead of on it. Now you see it's not perfect because there's edges on this photo that are being cut straight through with no illusion of depth. So that's why we go to filter, distort, displace and let's do five on the horizontal and vertical scale stretch to fit and undefined areas set to wrap around. Now you're going to watch it's going to kind of warp to this face, this contour. Select the PSD that you saved earlier, and if you saw it sort of warped to the original image. It's not perfect, but it helps map it onto your image. As you can see. This is where we're going to take it further with the eraser tool, and manually go through and create the illusion of depth. So once you're happy with that, grab your eraser tool on a size, set it to something small enough for the area that you're working with. For now, let's leave the opacity up to 100 and the hardness at 0 because we are going to erase the eyes. Typically, this effect works better when the eyes are showing through clearly and are not mudded up by the texture. So with a soft brush, as big, as small, big or as small as you need, erase the eyes. My, my picture only has one eye showing. So Now we're going to do the same thing with the lips. But the thing is, you don't want to keep it at 100% opacity because it looks like he's wearing lipstick. So turn the opacity down to about 30 or 40 
and slowly brush on there a few times so that some of the texture is still apparent but more faded. Now along the edges of your images like the ear where there should be an edge and the line of the jaw and the chin you want to fade the texture so that it creates an edge of faded to dark again. That way it doesn't look like the image isn't wrapping around his chin. Now create a new adjustment layer, gradient map, and select the black and white gradient like last time. This time don't adjust the midpoint. And if your image was if the texture was bleeding outside of your image at all, go ahead and erase it with a soft eraser, like I just did. Now create a new adjustment layer, brightness contrast. Let's turn the contrast up a little bit to about 15 with the legacy on, and the brightness up a little bit too, about 15. At this point, you have a black and white version of the finished product. But one thing I like to do is add color to it. So select your original layer that, with the color on it, right click duplicate, and drag it above all your layers. Set the blending mode of this layer to overlay. And depending on how much color you want, adjust the opacity to maybe around 80% for a little less boost. And there you have a great way to apply a texture to an uneven surface like a face. It's all in the details. The more work you put in with the erasers and the opacity to create the depth, the better it'll look. If you enjoyed this tutorial, go ahead and check out these previous tutorials and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to be notified when I make future tutorials. Thank you.